Concern over the Zika virus continues to grow here in Florida. Governor Scott has announced 10 more cases that are believed to have been caused by mosquitoes in one South Florida neighborhood. That makes a total of 14 cases that are not linked to travel outside of the state. According to the Department of Health, the mosquitoes spreading the virus are concentrated in one small area of Miami-Dade County. Federal health officials are now advising women who are pregnant or trying to conceive to avoid traveling to that part of Miami, just north of downtown. Zika has been linked to microcephaly, a dangerous birth defect. We have complete coverage of the fight against Zika in our area, beginning with Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell, and she spoke to the head of the city's mosquito control division. When it comes to fighting the Zika virus here locally, Jacksonville Mosquito Control says they're not necessarily making major changes to their day-to-day -day activities, but they're staying in closer contact with local and state agencies like the health department. They say right now their number one priority is spreading awareness and education here in our community. We made sure we had our protocols, our staff ready, and uh, since then we have had, we're standing right now in Jacksonville on six travel-related cases. Um, our staff are well versed, though, in the protocols involved in going out. John Shellhorn, Division Chief of Jacksonville Mosquito Control, says the daily routines of employees haven't significantly changed because of the new South Florida cases of Zika virus. But he says they're doing everything they can to help prevent the spread of it here in Duval County. We're wanting to go out there. We're doing a lot of hand treatment, inspection. Um, education in and around those particular areas, and then we're revisiting the locations often with the trucks. He says there are six confirmed cases in Duval County, all of them travel related. Water. Governor Scott made a call no today for a CDC no emergency water. response no team water. after 14 cases of the Zika virus spread by mosquitoes were confirmed in Miami Dade County. Shellhorn and Jacksonville Mosquito Control are using it as a reminder for people to protect themselves and their families. Remember, regardless of the Arbor virus, whether it's West Nile, whether it's chikungunya, whether it's Zika, you cannot catch the virus if you don't get bit. So obviously the things that we've talked about in the past um, play an even larger role. Individuals need to think about protection, about using an EPA registered uh, uh, mosquito repellent. If they're going out in the evenings, if they're going out in the morning, going anywhere where they could come in contact with the mosquitoes. Mosquito Control says they have worked with the city to provide a wide range of educational resources for you on their website. We provided a link to that for you on our website, newsforjacks.com. Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station. Now Channel 4's Heather Lee has been talking with mosquito experts in St. John's County. And Heather, they're concerned about the virus as we all are, but how it gets here, correct? Yeah, that's exactly what they're concerned about. So they don't believe that the mosquito is going to make its way from Miami up here, at least the ones that are infected with Zika virus. We do currently have some of the virus or the uh, Zika, um, or excuse me, the mosquitoes that are capable of carrying the virus here, but none of them are infected with the virus at this point. But they are more concerned about people that are traveling to different areas and getting infected with the Zika virus and then coming back to an area and spreading it via mosquito bites. Christopher Bibbs, an education specialist with Anastasia Mosquito Control, says it's more likely that we will see people bringing the disease here versus the mosquito here, which is why we are seeing those travel warnings. But because many times there are no symptoms, the disease can go unknown. If a mosquito bites you and then bites someone else, it can be spread. That's why it's a good idea to avoid Zika-stricken areas. Or if you do go, protect yourself with repellent, long sleeves, and pants. We've been asked this before, these mosquitoes don't travel much on their own. What you're going to see is that the risk is from traveling into that area, not from the mosquito traveling out of the area. So although more of Miami may come under risk because of local transmission, even as far as adjacent counties, the issue is going to be you drive into Miami for one reason or another. Maybe you have friends, family, or just visiting the city. That's going to be your exposure risk. It isn't going to be because the mosquito picked up its bags and went to the neighboring county. So here in St. John's County, they're passing out these flyers right here. They are free. You can come pick one up. Or we've also posted uh, some of this information that's found on their website on our website, newsforjacks.com. As for St. John's County, officials here say they believe that they are definitely ready for something like this. They've been doing tabletop exercises with officials and organizations and different agencies from the Emergency Operations Center locally. And that's just to make sure they are prepared if we end up getting a locally transmitted 
unique case of the Zika virus here. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station. The state surgeon general has activated a Zika virus hotline for anyone seeking more information. The number to call is 1-855-622-6735. We have posted that number on news4jax.com.